Hey everyone and welcome to another video for the Flesh and Blood by TMG and today video number six I believe we're going to tackle Bravo the Showstopper or otherwise Guardian cards okay um yeah in as I've said before I'm a ninja player and really out of the initial four characters the ones I prefer to come up against are Reiner um, that's my best matchup. Then Bravo and then Warrior. So Bravo sits right in the middle. Um, you can expect huge hits from Bravo, um, as well as turns where Bravo doesn't seem to do anything but really builds up on a future turn. So let's just get straight into it um, and see how we go. So Bravo. Um, until the end of the turn, your attack action cards with a cost of three or greater, gain dominate and go again. Wow. So he's got to spend two for this, but yeah, his cards gain dominate. Um, yeah, and with dominate, you can only use one card from your hand to defend. You can use an extra one from Arsenal or um, your equipment. But yeah, no, nah, pretty good skill. We're already seeing that it's going to be um, cost intensive. So let's see how the cards actually go with that. You've also got your young hero Bravo. Like all of them, same card size, same abilities, just a different life total of 20. All right. Anathos, the hammer. All right, once per turn, you've got to spend three to attack with this. If you have two or more cards in your pitch zone with cost three or greater, Anathos gains plus two. All right, so you've maybe had a turn and you've possibly thrown out extra cards to get the plus two. Honestly, when playing against this, um, Bravo's ability for the Dominate, um, unless they've, they haven't really used this action, and the extra plus two on the Hammer, I've never really come up against it. So whether the players who play Guardian use that skill forgot about that school i'm not really sure but the way that guardian's being played against me he's very effective without those two skills anyway so let's just continue on with the rest of the cards all right tectonic plating once per turn action create a seismic surge or a token go again this also has battle worn with a neg one counter and it defends for two so pretty good piece of equipment Seismic Surge or a token. Let's just take a quick look at it. It's right at the end, I believe. Um, at the beginning of your action phase, destroy Seismic Surge. Then the next Guardian attack action or attack action card you play this turn costs one less to play, so one resource less. So that's what that's given you. Yeah, not not bad. Especially like I said, it's very cost intensive. Um, this deck right from the get-go so I'm expecting to see cards like that we get into um, Helms of Eisen's Peak it's a common card action destroy Helm of Eisen Peak your hero gains plus one hand size until the end of the turn this is also battle worn so it's not a bad piece of equipment for Guardian um, yeah it's look it does cost another one to increase your hand size by one in this game hand size can be very effective so yeah i'm i'm at two minds with it whether you would go a, a card that will tackle a later time like a merchant's hood or whether you keep this unsure but that's the next guardian equipment that's available to him now we get on to the first majestic crippling crush you do not want to see this card if you're opposing him all right it's bravo specialization so only him if Crippling Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, they discard two random cards. And it does 11 damage, defense for three. This is a crazy card. We're into double digits for the damage. You know what? It only has to do four or more damage, and you're also discarding two cards. So could you imagine you're defending against this? I'm going to lose two cards if I allow it through, or I've got to throw down two, maybe, like... You're defending with this is going to take about three cards to defend with um you could probably throw down two cards and get it under four but yeah it's 
The name really suits it, Crippling Crush. It's a crippling card when it gets played against you. The other crippling thing about it though, it does cost seven to play, which is where other things start coming into effect. If Bravo gets his ability off where he can throw out three cards to get his action off, cause a dominate with a Crippling Crush, oh man, it's, it's a turn that's really gonna hurt. All right, let's get on to Spinal Crush. Costing five, if Spinal Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, action cards, activated abilities, and attacks they control lose and can't gain go again during the next attack action phase. Attacks for nine um, only needs to deal four or more. When this is played against me as a ninja, and like this is crippling in itself if I can't play go again. So have to defend hard against this with equipment or whatever I've got. Yeah, this is a great card. Um, these two are probably staples in most Guardian decks that I've seen. Cranial Crush. If Cranial Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, they can't draw cards during their next action phase. Yeah, less impact than the other two. Doing eight damage, costing six, defense for three. Yeah, some pretty good cards to line up their majestic slots. Yeah. All right, let's get on to... Now, this is their super, Forged... For war, go again. While Forge for War is in the arena, equipment you control gains plus one defense. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy Forged for War. I haven't really seen this card played against me. Um, Guardian does want to defend, but there's a fair few generic cards that will help them along, which is probably the reason why I haven't really seen this played much. I could be wrong. Please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, yeah, we'll move on to the next one. Bravo Specialization, another super card. Here we go, when Showtime enters the arena. The card is called Showtime, pitch for three, cost three. Search your deck for a Guardian attack action card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy Showtime, then draw a card. How great is this card? Not only does it allow you to um, select your Guardian attack action, who cares if the opponent sees it, um, at the beginning of your action phase, you can destroy this card. It replaces itself, um, not for the pitch cost, but getting that extra card in hand, so important as we've said for Bravo. It's all about um, the resource management. Um, here we go. The first of the red, blue, uh, red, yellow, and blue cards. Disable, crush. If disable deals four or more damage to a hero, starting to see a trend here. <laughs> Put a card from their arsenal on the bottom of their owner's deck. That can be really annoying when you're really trying to set up for a defense. Um, yeah, you may as well use the arsenal. Look, this is a pitch of five, so two card pitch. Um, nine damage, three defense. Like, as you can see with Guardian, with the amount of cost for their cards for their big attacks, they're gonna do one attack and it's gonna be a big attack. And that's what we're seeing with these. Um, it goes down to eight attack and then seven attack for the blue. All right, let's keep going. All right, Staunch Response. Um, as an additional cost to play Staunch Response, you may pay four if you do Staunch Response gains plus three. So you're paying two for a seven defense. That is fantastic. If you really come across anything that's doing a fair bit more damage, you can throw out another two cards to pay for the plus three, but it really isn't needed. Uh, Staunch Response is a great card with the seven defense um going down to six and five for the yellow and blue it, it it's just a great card even at a blue with a pitch for three still costing the two and defending for five this is a fantastic card i would hate to see this when i'm playing ninja when i really need um that attack going through maybe i'm at three i can pump it by two this five is still stopping it so great card all right this one i've seen played a bit blessing of deliverance also came out as a promo card um, go again when Blessing of Deliverance enters the arena. If you have a card in your pitch with a cost of three or greater, draw a card. How good is that? Replacing itself, it's a cost of two. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy Blessing of uh, Deliverance, then reveal the top three cards of your deck. Gain one health for each card with a cost of three or greater revealed this way. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, replacing itself is always a good thing. And getting health, well, you can't really complain about that. 
comes in yellow and um, blue as well. Now the difference on the cards for this one is other than the pitch value. Oh, look at this. All right, so let's take a look at that. So that was red, um, top three cards. Yellow is top two cards. Blue is just the top card, okay? So that's where the difference is between the three colors other than the pitch values. All right, buckling blow. Also, not defense stays the same. Buckling blow, guardian attack action. Attacking for eight on a red, costing four. So it's a two card throwout unless you're getting it for one less. Um, if Buckling Blow deals four or more damage to a hero, put a neg one counter on target equipment they control. Not bad at all. All right, um, doing a seven and a six for the yellow and the blues. Going into Cartilage Crush. If Cartilage Crush deals four or more damage to a hero, their first action during their next turn costs an additional one to play. So, you know, it doesn't seem like much, but when you're in a game where finite resources and you're planning your next attack and then this hits the table, it can really mess up your next turn. Now, this is doing seven for, um, can be one card to throw out. It is a three pitch, but as you can see, a lot of these cards are looking for three pitch items. So there is going to be a fair bit blue in the deck to actually get these working. Um, yeah, it can really matter. So going down in attack to six and then five for the blue see that's still really good you've got a three pitch three cost dealing five damage and still having that same effect wow right crush confidence oh, oh. let's see all right if crush confidence deals four or more damage to a hero they lose all hero card effects and activated abilities until the end of the turn how is that guys like um you lose all your character abilities, that's crazy. Now this is doing seven damage, so you need to get it down to under four, under four, all right? So, you know, it only has to deal four damage or more. So, oh wow. Yeah, great card, defense for three, um, goes down to six and then five for the blues. And that's why the blues are so good in Guardian, like they still have a major effect on the game. This is great, all right. Debilitate coming in at a smaller card on the picture. I'll look at the yellow one. Um, if Debilitate deals four or more damage to a hero, their first attack during their next turn has neg two. Yeah, crazy card, hey? Look at that hammer smashing down on that high, on that hand. That's crazy. Um, all right, this is doing eight, seven, and six. Defense for three on each of these cards. Uh, two cards to pitch. Unless, of course, you've got the ability that gave you an extra one. Emerging power, we're right near the end now. Only last two cards to go. Emerging power, um, auras stay in the arena until they are destroyed. Okay, so this has got go again after you do it as an action. At the beginning of your action phase, destroy emerging power. Then the next guardian attack action card you play this turn gains plus three. Pretty good. It does pick cost two, though. So... This is one of these cards that could be a trap, yeah? Um, you know, do you put in your deck, your pitch, but then what's your next attack gonna be? Maybe you come across, what is it? It's um, the next Guardian attack action card. So it can't even be Anathos. It has to be an attack action card. So you're really going down in your cards to stop you playing anything else. We'd have to really look at what generic cards are available as well as to whether we decide to put this in the deck or not it does defend for three but so do a lot of the other cards so really coming up against the first card in this whole selection that i really have a question about um, if i'm wrong please put it in the comments all you guardian players out there let me know how good this card is finally stone wall confidence this is also an aura go again after you play it wall stone wall confidence is in the arena cards you control will cost th with cost three or greater gain plus four defense while defending wow at the beginning of your action phase destroy stonewall confidence how how great is that so you can pretty much put that up for a turn um cards you control with cost of three or greater gain plus four while defending it really is a good card um 
Whether you would plan around that though is another thing. I think if you were pure defensive and you know, Guardian is a full on control deck, it will defend hard and then hit you really hard, probably early game, mid and late, but it really is controlling the um, stall of the game because if it doesn't, it's gonna lose and it's gonna lose hard. Um, a card like this, it could be a second trap, I don't know. I would really need to be guided by more of the uh, Guardian players who would consider this card. Um, it sounds great, but it, it is a two cost. It is going into playing to the opponent, allowing them to attack um, or hold on to cards. You might want to look at it like that, um, that it forces them to hold on to cards because they're not really getting through. We'll see how that goes. Um, possibly a great card for a sideboard, yeah? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'd take it as blue with just a plus two, probably yellow and up. And the last card was Seismic Surge. So there you go, guys. So yeah, that really finishes out all the characters for Welcome to Wraith. The next video, I'm going to be looking at the generic cards in Welcome to Wraith. And then we'll move on to Arcane Rising from there. So if you did enjoy the video and you enjoy these videos, please think about supporting us by clicking the subscribe trying to get um people up i've got a goal of five a week we've already reached that for this week so let's kick it up to 10 just hit the subscribe it really supports us and it will enable me to get a proper url um, for these for all the new players that come so thank you everyone for your time today and have a great day and we'll see you on the next video see you all